we uh, take a look at uh, what's going on in the uh, election 2016 campaign and joining us in studio this time to discuss uh, his campaign is Judge Ray Wheelis, a r- candidate for Court of Criminal Appeals Place 2. And uh, Judge, welcome to the show. Thank you, Chad. I'm glad to be here. I appreciate all the listeners tuning in to find out what we have to say today. Absolutely. Well, tell folks, I guess, first a little bit about yourself and why you decided to run for uh, this position. Well, I'm a native Texan, Chad. I grew up in Abilene, Texas, and I know some of your listeners will be listening today. I was in Abilene a couple of days ago at a Tea Party meeting, Midland yesterday. So I've lived all over West Texas. I even lived in Lubbock for a while. I was uh, I worked in the oil fields when I was younger and then joined the Air Force, moved away, joined the Air Force, finished college out in California, came back to Texas and enrolled at the University of Texas Law School where I received my law degree. After that, I began a law practice in Collin County, and I've been a lawyer and a judge over there for the past 35 years. I was a lawyer in private practice for 20 years first, and then I've been a judge for 15 years. I'm a general jurisdiction judge here, criminal, civil, and family cases. I'm the only candidate in the race that has that kind of experience. I'm the only candidate that was ever in private practice. I have a couple of primary opponents who were career prosecutors, never been in private practice. Hmm. And um, the fellow that I'm running against is the uh, Democrat in office. Uh, We have one statewide Democrat office holder. A lot of people don't realize that, but we have one. And uh, he was a Republican for a long time, but he switched to the Democrat Party in 2013. He went against the trend in he, that one, didn't he? <laughs> he absolutely did. And the reason for that is because he had always been a little bit out there on his rulings, and so he finally decided to join the party where he was most comfortable. And uh, I've been really involved in the Republican Party uh, in Collin County in 1980. I moved there. I've been a precinct chairman, an election judge, vice chairman of the Republican Party, co-chair of the Lincoln Day Dinner. I've been appointed by three different Republican governors to different statewide boards and positions. I currently serve as chairman of the Specialized Courts Advisory Council to Governor Greg Abbott. What we do is we recommend funding for uh, drug court programs, veterans court programs, mental health court programs, and things like that. Visiting with uh, Judge Ray Wheelis, uh, running for Court of Criminal Appeals Place 2. You and I were talking before we came on the air today. Day, and you said that there are a lot of people out there who don't know uh, exactly what the Court of Criminal Appeals does, correct? That's absolutely right. And people, you know, uh, I think your average listener is going to think, well, I don't have to be concerned with the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals. I'm never going to commit a crime. Well, you may not ever commit a crime, but that doesn't mean you won't ever be charged with a crime. Imagine uh, if you if you can, Rick Perry ever thinking that he would be charged with mm-hmm. a crime. And here he is, Tom DeLay a few years ago, charged with a crime. The case ended up in front of the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals. And uh, Ken Paxton in Collin County, where I'm from, now charged with a crime. Who would have ever thought those three gentlemen would ever be charged with a crime? Several years ago, we had a situation with Kay Bailey Hutchinson, who was charged with a crime. And that case didn't end up in front of the Court of Criminal Appeals. But a lot of these high-profile cases will end up there. Well, and, and you know, I, I think for the average listener, they go, okay, w- w- we hear that. Those are political figures. Why should I, the the regular citizen out there, be so concerned? Because uh, it doesn't do the regular citizens any good here in Lubbock or anywhere else in your uh, listing area to have good people in office, that is prosecutors and sheriffs and law enforcement, arresting people that are guilty of crimes if the convictions don't hold up on appeal. So the judges that are on this court eventually decide the most important criminal cases in Texas, death penalty cases, capital uh, felony cases. And so uh, the judges on this court determine whether or not people that were rightfully convicted remain convicted. But it also considers cases where people that were wrongfully convicted uh, have another shot to have another court take a look at it, just like the Tim Cole case here in Lubbock. There are, uh, you've received numerous endorsements, uh, and and on your website you have those listed at uh, judgerayweelis.com. There are, of course, the newspaper endorsements that are out there, and and, and they've gone for some of your uh, competitors in this race. Uh, They've said that you don't have the experience needed. However, uh, it seems like in some of those they say, well, you know, he's a good candidate, would be a fine candidate, but doesn't have the necessary experience uh, that we like here. Uh, there are a lot of Republicans who don't uh, don't mind when they don't get the endorsement of some of these major newspapers out there. Let me ask you this. Why are those newspapers wrong? Uh, as uh, we Republicans know, conservatives know, a lot of the me- uh, media, the press, that is, are a little bit liberal. And so my opponents 
Um, both have liberal streaks in them. One of my opponents was ranked by the I Voter Guide as being somewhat conservative. The other one was ranked as being somewhat liberal. Those are the kind of people that appeal to those newspaper groups. I knew immediately as soon as I got some of my endorsements, um, Texans for Fiscal Responsibility, Texas Right to Life, Texas uh, Homeschool Coalition, uh, Texas Eagle Forum. Uh, a lot of the mainstream press was going to look at me as being the right-wing nut, if you want to use that term. But that's the, how they would look at me and say, well, that's not the guy we want to endorse. Visiting with Judge Ray Wheelis, so what, what does separate you from uh, those who are running for this office? Obviously not the Democrat, but those other Republicans in this race. Well, I think the big thing is that uh, I've been in private practice. They never have been. I was in private practice for 20 years. I know what it's like to represent real people who have real issues. Um, I've represented people that I knew were innocent, that were found guilty, and then I had to lie, lie awake and figure out what I could do to try to rectify that situation. I've handled appeals to the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals involving real people with real cases. My opponents uh, in the primary, their only client ha that they've ever had is the state of Texas. Um, the difference between us is that as a lawyer, when you're representing a person, you're standing up for someone's constitutional rights. If you're a prosecutor, constitutional rights are in the way of you achieving a conviction. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I think that's one big difference between us. It's easy for any lawyer, any judge to run and get elected to an appellate court or to the Court of Criminal Appeals and review the cases that are real clear. In cases that are real clear where there's overwhelming evidence that someone is guilty, there's lots of DNA evidence, there's photographs, there's uh, confessions, there's ballistics, whatever that is, that type of evidence, it's real clear to sit there and review those cases and just rubber stamp the convictions. That's the easy part. The hard part is when you get to the cases where there's hardly any evidence, just flimsy evidence. There's problems with confessions. There's problems with DNA. There's problems with eyewitness reliability. Those are the cases that need real scrutiny by the right person. And I was not a career prosecutor, although I was a prosecutor for two years. Um, my goal is to review those cases and give special attention to the types of cases that uh, deserve it. Visiting with Judge Ray Wheelis, a candidate for Court of Criminal Appeals, place to, again, the uh, the only statewide office with a Democrat. That is, uh, <laughs> it's it's just it's very odd, and and it's and, you know this is one of those races, and and I talk about this with uh, a lot of the judicial candidates who come through here, and they all have the same reaction of we're trying to reach the voters out there. It's got to be tough to reach a lot of the voters who you know they're paying attention to what Trump is saying, they're paying attention to Ted Cruz, they're paying attention to uh, the, the headlines that are out there. Uh, you guys don't get a lot of headlines. No, we don't. It's really rare. Until it's bad. Yeah. And a, a, one Democrat blogger down in the uh, Houston area said that this was the most interesting uh, primary statewide that no one's paying attention to. Hmm. And the reason that it's interesting is because there's a Democrat in the race, and then we have two judges from Collin County that are running against each other. Yeah. I started uh, running my campaign over a year ago, and, when, and during that time period, you had to go around and get petitions from voters uh, signed in order to get a place on the ballot. In the summer, the legislature changed the law to eliminate that, and that allowed my opponent from Collin County to jump in at the 11th hour in December and decide to run against me. Uh, visit with Judge Ray Wheelis. Judge, uh, tell folks uh, in in, uh, in about a minute or so uh, what they uh, need to know uh, exactly about you, kind of that uh, appeal to voters, and then tell folks where they can find uh, more information about you online. Well, I'm a constitutional conservative. I believe in upholding the Constitution. I believe in the rule of law. I believe in following the law in case precedent. However, if there's a statute, for example, that the legislature's passed that's unconstitutional, I believe it's the incumbent upon this court, because it's the highest criminal court in Texas, to uh, strike down that statute if it's clearly unconstitutional. I have been a judge for 15 years. I was in private practice for 20 years before that. I am president-elect of the Texas Association of Drug Court Professionals. I'm the only candidate that's board certified in two areas of the law. I've tried more criminal cases than my opponents. I've tried more jury trials than my opponents. I've never had a criminal jury trial reversed on appeal. And I've had over 20,000 cases that I've disposed of and over 500 jury trials, and not one of them has ever been reversed for uh, infringing upon or violating a person's rights as part of the trial. So for me, that's a big distinction. And as I said, I've got tons of endorsements. Everyone in my county has endorsed me, my sheriff, district attorney, county judge, all the county commissioners, uh, all the Tea Party groups in my area, all of the conservative groups in my area have all endorsed me. My website is judgerayweelis.com. 
Judge, thanks for coming in today. Okay. Thank appreciate you, Chad. Appreciate your time. I appreciate it. Thank you.